guys, I just wanted to quickly hop on here onto my channel to film this quick tutorial because I just came across this problem um, with using Shopify Lite um, buy buttons onto my Show It account or my client's Show account in this case. And I feel like um, this is a common problem that doesn't really have a good solution online when I was Googling it or going into forums, no one could really answer this question. And it's actually a really easy solution. So let me just explain the problem really quickly. So I, um, I live in Europe, so I have a Shopify partners uh, account where I create Shopify accounts for my clients and my clients are mostly in the US and in this case my client has a show it website um, with a shop in the US so when I go on to embed her Shopify light buy buttons onto her show it page um, right here this is a Shopify um, light buy a button she goes into clicking and you see that her cart is showing in euros even though her account on Shopify has been created in USD it has ha, has a US address and all of her shop items are in uh, American dollars and if you look here it's actually showing in euros the item is 7.99 in dollars so the, it's not even converted it's literally just showing the wrong um, symbol and then you go into checkout and you see that the item is actually correctly shown as 7.99 usd so there's clearly an uh, a problem with the embed code and it's reflecting the wrong symbol here and at first i thought it was um, a currency issue um, because I'm in Europe, so when I created the account for her, it automatically created the account in euros. So I had to manually go to Shopify settings to make it USD and whatever. I just thought that there was like some backend issues and or some sort of Shopify bug, um, but it's actually a really quick fix. So let me just go into her Shopify account and I'll show you how you can um, easily change uh, some of the settings on the Shopify backend. Uh, there's no manual coding that's needed here. So let's go into her Shopify account. So right here, let me just show you really quickly. If you go into um, creating a buy button right now, um, okay, so if you go into creating a buy button, you'll see that, see right here, it's showing euros, even though that should be in USD. So I'm going to go back into her shop. Um, I'm going to go to exit and then I'm going to go into her settings. Um, and in her settings, you can go into her, uh, store details. Um, and if you keep scrolling, um, the address, I've made sure to change it to her address in the States before I transfer the account to her. Um, and then all of her contact details as well are hers. Um, and I made sure that I made the store currency to USD before I transferred the shop to her. So I thought, you know, it should be all right. Like everything will show up in USD. Clearly the product is priced in USD. But what I didn't know is that there's this little, okay, just back it up one step. So before I, uh, when I first set up the account for her um, on my Shopify partners account, this was in euros, okay? So I had to manually go in and change this to USD. But what I didn't know is that there's this button right here, change formatting. So if you click that button, it actually opens up this right here. So you see, even though I changed this to USD, this right here, the code on the back end is not automatically changing um, the code. Um, it, I think these codes just defer to what was uh, automatically 
um, created when the uh, the Shopify account was created to begin with. So my Shopify account was in euros, so it automatically defaults all of my shops to these euro. And even though I changed this. Um, currency to another one like let's say I change it to pounds you see how this doesn't change that's the problem so we need to go into this right here and make sure that we change these to USD USD um, and then as well not only there but oops sorry um, change these to dollar symbols and you see how change how currencies are displayed on your store so this means what it's uh, what it looks like on the actual checkout sorry cart checkout cart so once these are changed you also have to change these ones right here so um, dollar signs dollar signs and this works no matter what currency it's wrongly showing so let's say you want this to show um, Canadian dollars right so you can change this to Canadian or whatever your currency you want the cart to reflect remember to open the formatting and then change it here as well now once that is done make sure that you've uh, done this all right you go to save right and then now let's go back into um the shop here okay so we're gonna go back into the shop and click on creating a buy button the embed codes that you previously did incorrectly those do not automatically um update because you did that on the back end you actually have to create a whole new embed button so go into creating that whole process of creating a whole new embed button again let's just double check you see now it is correctly showing as usd and when you check out it's going to open the item in usd as well so tricky i actually contacted shopify yesterday about this exact issue i was super clear about what i did open the store in euro i changed it to usd it's still showing euro in the checkout cart and they actually didn't give me a solution they just told me oh it's probably something wrong with the custom code um unfortunately we can't uh, edit the code for you here is a link to where you can hire a developer to create a custom code for you and i was like are you serious like this isn't like i'm not ready like this seems like it should be a quick and easy fix which it turned out to be but they didn't even know that that this was a, a solution themselves so i'm really confused why this they don't have the answer to this when the when the answer was so simple <laughs> um so this is probably i've like googled it and i've seen a lot of people post the same issue and this usually happens when you are a designer or um, and you're creating a shop in one currency and then you're transferring the shop to someone else in another currency um, or if you want to just you know let's say you're in europe and you're creating a shop for yourself in europe but your customers are mostly in in usd or most of them are in north america then you want the shop to show where your clients are at right so i can see this happening to a lot of people and not realizing that you can open the formatting area to change how it reflects in the cart so anyways now i am going to go on in and create this buy button um create a new uh link embed here and then i'm going to copy and paste this into the shop so i'm going to copy this into the shop and hopefully it's going to be all good so let's go on and do that i'm going to go into show it and i'm going to place this button with the new button okay so I have just 
added this new embed button in there. I'm just gonna go to preview and let's open it up. And I'm going to add this to cart and voila, we have USD. So there we go. Super simple fix. Now everything is showing in the correct currency. Um, you just need to make sure that you delete all of your old incorrect embed buttons um, and then you need to go and do that little formatting thing on the back end and then recreate new buy buttons with a new embed code and re-embed them into your page and the problem will be fixed so i hope this is super helpful for those who are you know um, experiencing this issue right now i have seen a lot of people post their question on um, on Google and just in forums and stuff and nobody had an answer to this and I don't know why because it's such a simple solution um, but Shopify couldn't even help me which was very frustrating yesterday but for some sort of a miracle I was able to find that little like change formatting or open formatting section and figured it out um, so hopefully that was helpful to those who might be opening a store but wanting to have their store reflect a different currency um, anyways just wanted to hop on here really quickly to kind of film this while i actually do this for my client because i think it will help a lot of people anyways i love you guys thank you again and i hope this video was helpful if it was please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos on branding design and creative entrepreneurship um, today's video was a little bit um, on the whim but also um, i think yeah hopefully it was just really really helpful <laughs> All right, I'm rambling now. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>